Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you wonder who else knew I was a god? Freya for sure. Barak and Sindri? They do not need to know. Balder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, you don't have to go right back to Kersval, do we? I mean, we're gone. We can do whatever we Let's try this again, without interruption. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? Says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much strong. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this back? No, I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Naturally. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. It's kind of hoping though. So what now? Brother, up there! The winds of hell! <laughs> oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? 
terrible experience, by the way. The da picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there, too? I... but... We'll get back to this later. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for father. Ooh. Careful, father. Rhea's not here to bring you back if you're cut in two. Quiet. What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. in that vault that set you off. It is not important. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ah. To reason the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the winds. Look, I just want to know the truth from now. Okay? I don't care if it hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. Yeah. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch both. No. Good luck. I thought those saws were something. 
Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. You know, for someone so loved, Tear sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. Chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, the sun on the right. With the Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? The right boy. Right. The right boy. Put them in order. Moon left. Middle ball. Left boy. Middle quickly. The left. Right. Moon Midgard Sun. Moon Midgard Sun. Hey. Get it. Well, I can't drown. Guess that's something. See what tears got for us. Where's the protection? It rubbed off. There it is. We've got it. Boy. Yeah. Well, 
on the day you were born, I made two knives, mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now, like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you must be better than me. Understand? Say it. I will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. for us gods. I have beaten bigger. <laughs> Puny troll. Yeah. I'm turned around. Which way is the sandball back up? to the end. End. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly.
Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? <laughs> it's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah, but who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on. I'm gonna tell Sindra I'm a I'd like to see the look on his face. No. I may have kept your secret too long, but now you will keep our secret. Oh. Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too, for good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the same. So what? Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah. But also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Uh, uh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear, then. gonna stop us okay which way up why did you speak to the dwarf like that aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother of course but it serves nothing to make an enemy of him you should know the truth even if it hurts it was needless and unkind truth is more important than kindness 
Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. Why don't you let me carry her up from here? No. Why not? We're almost there. You know I can handle it. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I questioned that. What? That she wasn't a god? She was better than a god. Don't you shall not dishonor her. Fine. Carry her yourself. Another Valkyrie. We're gonna save her, right? If by save her you mean brutally rip her wings off, then my vote is I. Enough. Both of you. I will decide the best course of action. Prepare yourself. Milady, please tell us. Why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know. The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. We belong in the spirit world, which is where I now go. Goodbye! I... I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive! I know many things. Ted? Ah... Uh, Sigrun, the Queen of the Val... She would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been in... Well, we had... history, I guess you could say. Like... romantic history? Ah, oh, lad. You're making me blush. I think. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them. Kept them from their duty. The Queen? I can't say for sure, lad. 
We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind the distraction. That we are gods. Why come up with the story about Odin trying to follow us to Jotunheim before we get there or whatever? Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle and his purposes oh. are. Enough about Odin and his whole stupid family. said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tyr wasn't. Freya neither. The Acer gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. Because we know what they are and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst. And he's dead. They're no better than us. And they're gonna be sorry that... Thor, blame me, me, for what you did to Magni. My own father called me a coward. Looks like he did more than that. Move it, or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. <laughs> No. He is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about Mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than Mother's. You killed against my wishes. You lost control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes, but in defense of yourself, never as an indulgence. 
Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. for him too. No, you do not. You will leave him to me. So you can kill him. Because that's what we do to our enemies, right? Because he'd do the same to us. I will do only what is necessary. And I'll help. No. Are you talking to me? I thought you didn't like my tone. Another Valkyrie. Are we doing this? On my action. Looks like we're doing this.
we're doing this. Sounds like your queen is responsible, Head. Aye. When I saw her last, she was different. Changed. And not just that she was in physical form. She was more volatile. She... I tried to talk to her about it, but... She had just come to say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, my dear. We'll find her. Not sure she wants to be found. I just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of... Sense. And if she is responsible, then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's gonna watch your back? <laughs>
I'm seeing in the walls up here show signs of recent dragon activity. You already killed that dragon. Oh, did you then? Well, how'd that go? Ancient? Yes. Was it? Difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. Oh, I'm glad I'm still useful to you.
thick skin. I guess I can muster the energy. Don't need me anymore, huh? On you two. The silence is getting unnerving. Don't worry about it. We're focusing. <laughs> Nearly there now. Finally. Carve along that. made it. Beautiful, isn't it? Why I remember once. Brother, look out! I'll do whatever you Shut oh. up. All oh. this time I thought oh. I needed you. Oh. But you're just me. Oh. Oh. Turns out the boy is the brains. Oh. Oh. No! You broke the gate! That was the only way to Yonai! Oh, stupid son of a bitch! 
Get out of here, boy. Yes! By all means, Junior, run away. Let Daddy do all the heavy lifting for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let go! Calm down, boy. You are not ready for this. I am oh! ready! <laughs> boy, I am... Zuma! <laughs> and here I thought my family was fucked up. <laughs> oh, your father is right, boy. You are far from ready. Now would you be so kind as to hold this for me? Thank you. Atreus! Give up! Opens the full weight of Ascot will come crashing down on you. <laughs> it's over. Is it? So be it. Baldur! No! Listen to me! Go of it now, or I will kill him. You know I will. What did you do? Stay still. 
you will listen to me and not speak a word. I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. It's cold. This is hell? Not just hell. Worst place in hell you could have put us. I see a ship. Get us there. It only takes us halfway to Tyr's temple, but at least it gets us far from here. For a thousand mortal lifetimes, the bridgekeeper kept the living out of this place. But now that you've ripped his heart out, here we are. Funny how it all comes around. Just the old and sick come to Helheim. So do the criminals. Hell must not draw a distinction between us and those whom these visions are meant to torture. How do we stop it? Escape Hell. As soon as possible. I'm not gonna let it bother. Like you said, Mimir, it was just an illusion. I wasn't. But it is who you have become of late. I know I got us in. But I'll get us out. Whoever I am. I will get us out. You will follow orders. But maybe that's not who I am. It had better be. Now let me focus. Balder up ahead. No. no. I would never stay out of sight. This. Listen. You, you had no right. I had every right. I am your mother. You had no right, Rich. I can't taste. I can't smell. I can't even feel the temperature of this, this room. Feasting, drinking, women. It's all gone. But you will never God. have to feel pain again. Death has no power over you now. You would rather die? I will never see you again. Yes. Yes. I would rather die. Yes. Take it away. I can't. Please. Please. Please take it away. It doesn't work like that. Trust me in time. We can figure this out, I promise. 
mistrust me, I know how to <laughs> is his mother. Why did you keep this from us, Head? Would you believe it slipped my mind? <laughs> I would not. Uh, I'm at a loss. I assure you, you have no reason to, to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this. Soon. <laughs> Sure, this is seaworthy. You will do. No. Give me space to work. You have done enough. Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Tyr's temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall which, sadly, we are downstream. That means even if we get there intact, we'd still need to sail up a waterfall somehow. The Vanir built the greatest ship that ever was, and it can fly. Skifplothnir? Yeah, because it was designed to fly. This was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we have. Perhaps the biggest iceberg I've ever seen. At least the fire's making heat. Look out. Chopping it? Give me a proper room. So now the sails are loose? Just watch. Catch the wind. We're floating. The heat from the fires. We're actually floating. And we're stuck. 
Not for long. Stay with the boat. I can't believe it. You just made a huge... <laughs> Talk, brother. You do realize it's over, don't you? Even if we make it back to Midgard, you and Balder destroyed the only gate to Jotunheim. We are out of options. And that boy up there, he's in nine kinds of pain. His head's turned so far around. Atreus is not your concern. Atreus. I can help? Together now. going to get out of here. Face me, father! It is time to end this! Yes, my son. It is time. No. It's that voice again. Do you know who that is? I do not know. I first Hold on! long before we reach the temple. Yeah, it's freezing. As long as we maintain this speed and those fires don't go out, we should be there in no time, lad. Whoa! <laughs> 
How's the fire staying lit? Did you believe no. magic? Or those blades. This realm now as long as we didn't wreck our way back <gasps> huh. 
What is this place? This is Odin's. I would recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. I think this is where Odin brought all his best clues about Jotunheim. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look, clearly that's tear. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose. Ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of rooms together. Peace, unity, hope, other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. Boy. Before when you saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Now, Head, why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Boulder and Freya, I... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Hey, tell me Boulder's vulnerability. Boulder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, 
For back when I figured out Boulder's weakness. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth. Is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Well, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, oh, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago. See? How inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. You're grinning. It's downright unsettling. <laughs> it's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Hey, the food's back up and about. Now we just need to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Hey, that could be valuable. Here's Rune. This is it. We're inside. But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. The tree! We're underneath the realm travel room. On the ceiling. Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Up there, Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Ruin. The clue we seek may be inside. Oh, huh. right next to the Udenon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here.
Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant. Whatever it's here did for them must have been big. Whoa, who are they? Boy, this is the room for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All Do right! You... What now? No shadow cast. Hmm. Ominous. Boy, on the statues. I see them. It says void. Ah, I was going to say void. Now right. Arthur. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach them, whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to your night. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. Again with the death traps. Thought, brother. Why don't you let the lad carry you for a while? And let you miss this. No. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Hmm. to do what you do, brother. Hey, it's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look for more like this.
the other chain waits. Ah, it's the other kind. Variety is so important. <laughs> Part. I know. That's right, I'm here. For one, never doubted. Right. Another piece of the language cipher. <laughs> Good. Get Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just try to... Is the act? 
See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make the Theoden. Do you hear that, brother? Lad, found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. What have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great are Dumbless others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel at Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. Your shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking to reach the secret path the Odinon, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? Good. I am more than okay with not throwing ourselves over the edge of the world tree just yet. In due time, boy. Ah, uh, really? Now when you're done talking, I got a favor to ask. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith head. This is incredible! can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on. That was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Oh no! I took the stone! Tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? It's moving! It knows what to do! The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling to your spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. After that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. 
Oh, no, this is considerably worse. Here they come. Enemies ahead! secretly possess some remnant of primordial Yotnar creative essence, the stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tia, tells you just how desperate they were. Don't you? 
I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, my dear. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, bit of a long shot. For years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Hey guys, question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. But I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to He wanted me to build a He showed it to me, you see, and I the coin Sorry, will you excuse me? Well that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know he got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? <laughs> We'd better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. <sighs> well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for six more to the horn. It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. <laughs> the snake's already in position, brother. Nothing more to negotiate. So, are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. You 
sure if this is a good idea? No. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in the giant's belly either. How about you, father? Never one that was not trying to be You really should expect that sort of response at this point. dream about getting me. Dreams are nothing I'm to... not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Ah, smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. A bit like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. There, the hammer. Not like I can still see through it. Maybe you should stick that in my head, for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. How's it feeling, man? Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again. But it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally! We're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term, tempting fate? <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? Aye. So how do we get back out? We signal. Oh God! What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Yorman Gander's belly. No, something is wrong. What's happening to us? Nothing good. Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother.
I'm good. I think I'm getting kind of used to this. What happened to him? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! Freya. We can still trust her. Right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you... You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you... How, how I feel? How I feel! <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! no! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> What 
I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. Is she controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, woman. You cannot. He means to kill you. You can't. No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me. I will protect him. I will not let him die. Don't touch it. This will all be over soon. Then! I feel! I feel! Freezing! Stop hurting my boy!
shut up! <laughs> Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Uh, ironic, isn't it? What? Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. <sighs> Never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. 
I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop. I know. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. 
The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim... Here we go! I can't believe we're using the giants! Well, if things work according to the plan, go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Boy, go ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh. I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why not I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ugh. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. 
close. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Baldur! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But... Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. 
Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it.
understand if you want to go hungry, but I bet there are still some corrupt developers out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Lots more snow, and then the end of the bloody world. And that talks about the mother prophecy. No mother prophecy. I'm telling you, it's Pimble Winter. Huh. I can feel it in my scrot. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Thimble Winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah, we we heard. So if you're heading home, try to keep moving and also to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Okay. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we do. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. like a lifetime ago. Bed drop. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you.
Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimba winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come.